I don't trust anything that the government's saying to me. This beast, oh, yeah. beast New World Order government, right. you know? Yeah. So if I were you, I would just go in there without it and you trust in happened? Jesus. Well, I, I go in do. there. I do. Well, you know, I don't think Jesus would be wearing it. No. Nope. Only trust in the Father. You're a Houston volleyball. You don't need a mask. We're going to people watch out here today. <coughs> people watching. You guys don't believe in the mask, do you? Oh, you do? Oh, shit. Oh, you got it hanging right there. I think that probably gets washed as much as the motel bed spread. <laughs> huh? You change him? So you believe? No, I think the government's running game on everybody. Getting ready to crash the country here, and uh, I trust in Jesus. Oh. Oh, okay. I think science says uh, a lot of things that are in disagreement to the Bible, the Word of God. But we don't trust in Bill Gates. In the last days, there will be deceivers. Yeah, and that's what's and happening that's right, right now. Right now. They're deceiving us. People are deceiving us. Yes. That's fake news on Fox. It's the awful thing I've ever heard. Yeah, all news is deceiving the people right now. So I think we need to trust in God. Entirely. Entirely, though. Oh, no. I'm not taking sides for any of these crooks, you know what I mean? They all work for Satan. The Bible says, let's say it into my YouTube video. Okay, you listen to this. The last um, election that we had, and I was praying, I wanted Hillary to win. I was praying about it, and the Lord spoke to me and told me Trump was going to get ushered in the Antichrist, and that's exactly what he well, the Antichrist. But don't you get it? They all work together. They all work together to bring about this new world order and usher in their Antichrist. And this is all part of the ritual. You put on the slave mask. You don't. You're not the mouthpiece of God anymore. We're no longer free to do what we want to do. And you know. No, I listen to myself and I read the Bible. The Bible says Psalms 118:8, trust in no man but God alone. Okay, sister, we can agree on that. Trusting God Almighty. We're people watching. Oh boy, it's really going down here quick in America. We're over here at the uh, Mall Mart. Walmart. We're just people watching. We're people watching out here in Jesus' name. Take it off in Jesus' name. You don't need it. Hey, you guys want to be on my YouTube channel? I'm looking for somebody who wants to go in there without a mask. Yeah. Because I'm in disagreement with anything the government's telling people to do. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think. What are you? Somebody. That, well, you believe that the government would uh, is totally doing everything for our benefit? You trust in the government? Because anything I believe that the government could be sp conspiring against. It depends. It depends. I mean, if, if it's like based on science and evidence. Yeah. Well, because we see it on TV. There's a lot of doctors and scientists that are being hushed up. Not on mainstream media. That are, that are saying it's an exosome. No, that's trusting God Almighty, Jesus Christ. No, no, Jesus Christ, brother. Yeah, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Get on out of here. What do you expect of the Walmart crowd? Nobody trusts God. Hey, you got your Halloween mask on already. <laughs> you just come to the store and you can go out trick or treating later. <laughs> but I say, trust in Jesus. Hey, there's still hope for the people to take it off right away. Yeah. I never wear that crap. This probably won't be a good video to upload. Anyone want to trust in Jesus? Take off the mask. Trust in Jesus instead of the government. Huh, ma'am? Dios? Trust in Dios. Now, see, people are going to have to choose. You can't serve God and mammon. You're going to have to choose who you're going to serve. You're going to serve the piece of cloth in your face and the men of cloth or trust in the Lord Jesus Christ Almighty. Luke 17, 33 says, whoever seeks to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for his sake will find eternal life. Trust in God, not the mask, sister. You're breaking my heart. 
2 Peter 3, 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, but is long-suffering toward us. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance in the name of Jesus Christ. Trust in Jesus Christ, not the mass, brother. Trust in Jesus, you guys. You could take it off. It ain't no law. There ain't no law. It's just the government seeing how far they can push people. So that's why uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, I can't wait for Jesus to come. The day's coming any day. I can't wait. I can't wait. But you know what? 2 Peter 3, 9 says, the Lord is long-suffering for us, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repent. So there's still souls out there that are going to be saved in Jesus' name. And uh, the workers are few, but the harvest is ready. Hey, you could have just pulled up your beard. You don't need a mask. <laughs> hey, trust in, trust in Jesus, brother, not the mask. I go in there all the time without it, man. Yeah, and they're going to say something. No, they're not. They won't. They can't. They can't do anything to you, man. Just go in there without it, brother. Trust in Jesus. You're with me, brother. Take it off in Jesus' name or this country's going to collapse. We ain't got much more time. It's a bunch of Mickey Mouse crap. Everyone worshiping the beast in movies, decoding. This guy's got a cool mask. Trust in Jesus, you guys. Trust in Jesus. Not the mask. Trust in Jesus, everybody. We gotta have faith, people. There you go, there's still hope for the people that take it off right away. <laughs> oh, no fist bump. <laughs> yeah, the people that carry it all the way from their car into the store, I don't know. Those are people probably going to take the mark of the beast, but we don't know. Because uh, during the tribulation start, we are going to do exploits and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, many will come to Jesus Christ. We are going to have a revival in America if everybody just takes off their mask, right? Don't you think we could have a revival if everybody just took off their mask? No? Son City got it. We're just people watching today. People watching. We'll see if we've got anybody with faith out here in the Lord God Almighty. All right. There's somebody with faith in God, right? Amen, sister. You know they won't say nothing to you. There you go. Just take it off in Jesus' name, people. Take it off. They can't say nothing. Let's trust in the Father Almighty. There's no law here. There's no virus. It's an exosome. Don't be slaves to the beast system. By faith, things are done. Have faith in God, not the mask. I don't have the cootie bug. Girls, you have the cootie bug? You don't have the cooties, do you? <laughs> so you see out here in California how it is. People watching. We are at Walmart. And these are all souls the Lord wants to bring into his kingdom. The Lord doesn't wish anybody to perish. It all should come to the Lord Jesus. Hey, you're in my YouTube video. Trusting God, not the government. Take off the mask. You don't need it to shop in here. Do you even think this is real? No, I don't either. You're in the medical field. Have you seen anybody with the exosome? With the Miley Cyrus virus inside us that wants to bite us and fight us and sits beside us? No? You haven't either. Good. Trust in Jesus, not the government. Take off the mask. Take off the mask in Jesus' name. You look like a guy who believes in God. You believe in Jesus? Take off the mask in Jesus' name. <laughs> Don't trust the government. We know that, right? All these politicians working in cahoots, and look, they're all working to put everybody in a slave mask out here for their famous Satan ran holiday. Don't take no candy from strangers. Don't do anything the government tells you, kids. Play baseball, have fun, roll around in cow crap, spit, sanitizer. That's what we need. Oh, this ain't working very good. <laughs> Hey man, you don't believe in the mask, just take it off. You don't need it in there. Trust in Jesus Christ, brother. Yeah, go age. Next year. We're gonna have a next year. I don't know. 
A's will win it all if there's a next year. Hey, how much was that basketball? Like 60 bucks. 60? Yeah. Top of the line? Yeah. Autographed? Good, you're not wearing no mask. Trust in Jesus. That's what I say to cancer. I can't breathe. I know. Nobody can breathe. That's the whole idea. I have health issues. I don't breathe. Amen, sister. Trust in God. It's a bacteria incubator is what those masks are. Festering around. Everybody's throwing around their spit. We don't ever wear no mask. We trust in Jesus. And we don't get sick. We don't get sick. We've been sprayed with Kim Charles 25 years. Superman didn't wear a mask. He wore a cape. <laughs> 20 years I ain't been sick. You don't have the cooties. Yeah. That good thing about these masks is people have to accessorize and if they forget their mask, they'll go back. You see a lot less people walking around their cell phones all the time with their heads down, walking their heads up their butt. Now they're walking with their mask in their mouth. Mush mouth. And the whole idea, you're no longer the mouthpiece of God. You do what you're told. That's spooky. That's what's scary Trust in God. Don't wear the mask. Just pull up your beard, bro. <laughs> Some people thought it was funny. It's a beautiful day out here. 75 degrees and sunny without a chemtrail. But still, people don't even notice that. For 25 years, they haven't been noticed. They're getting sprayed like bugs up in the sky. So what do you think they've noticed? All the confusion on TV. How they want to bring their order out of chaos. They're going to bring their chaos soon. All you people trusting the mammon and not God, you're gonna find out. Breathe, little ones. Breathe in Jesus' name. Take off the mask. Walmart out here looking for me already? Ho! Oh. They got people out here selling candy left and right, walking around the parking lot. They never say nothing about that. Many of you come out here and start filming somebody take off the masks. They're gonna be on ya. You want some candy? You want some GMO candy? Some nanoparticulate chemtrails? What? I don't know, you're recording people without their consent. No, but I didn't have somebody right? consent. Nobody told me not to yeah, record them. Yeah, you can't be recording people around here. What about you? Oh, okay, I don't record you either. Well, nobody told me I didn't want to. Nobody told me not to record them. Like yeah, I can. People, it's a public. They have no expectation of privacy. It's like a that. public area right here. They're all coming to Walmart. Area, but you can't be recording as far as recording, I can record people anywhere I want, but you could tell Is me that you don't want me on this property. Yeah, I'm telling everybody to take out the mask. Oh, okay. Yeah, because um, so I know it's not a law. It's just a policy. Um, so. Yeah, but, uh, you know, everybody is entitled to their, uh, their opinion, but as of right now... I no one's using yeah, their own yeah. opinion. They're doing what the government yeah, tells everybody, them. Everybody, everybody's, I mean... No, they're doing what the government tells them. They can't think for themselves anymore. Yeah, like 30 so years of TV. Wear, you know, they choose to wear, you choose not to wear. They so choose to because the government tells them to, and they're feeling peer pressure from other people. So okay, well, it, I will have one of my higher member of management come and talk to you about it, okay? But we can't be recording people out here like that, okay? Because they feel uncomfortable. Well, you know what? Okay? They can get a comforter while they're in there then. I, mean, I have the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so do you want me to come uh, to bring my manager over here? So you I don't really care what you that? do, sister, if yeah, you feel like that's I was already getting ready to leave, but if okay. you feel necessary to go, you know, and tell somebody. Come and have you, I have custom complaints. That's why I got to have They complain when you tell them to make yeah, that of the mask? That you're, um, that you're recording them and yelling at them. So. Yelling? No, I haven't that's yelled at anybody. It's all on tape. I'll get my manager, okay? So no, I'm leaving. You don't have to get your manager, but I would love to talk to him, but I have to go. All right, well, you have a good yeah, you too, sister. I can do whatever I want to do, sister. In Jesus' name, I can do whatever I want to do. Yep. That's right. And I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm going to walk over here freely in Jesus' name. And you go back to your job and do what you're told by your Walmart employees. Because you know you don't even like that mask on all day. Actually, I think it's cute. Ooh. Niners? A Niner mask? Yeah. Worship your football, worship your rock and roll, worship your hip hop, worship it all, America. Worship yourselves and love yourselves and be haters of each other and lovers of yourselves. Go consume and obey. It's what you do best. <laughs>